bladder incontinence is a common problem. You're not alone. Virginia Physicians for Women is here to help. The urodynamic test is a very uh, short procedure, not more than 30 minutes. It's done here in the office. It's not painful. Some of the symptoms I had for stress incontinence was that um, if I were to cough or laugh or take a few running steps or jump, I would have an accident. It was not very comfortable. Other symptoms that might uh, prompt an evaluation would include women who go to the bathroom frequently, women who wake up during the middle of the night to go to the bathroom, women um, who, when they get the urge to go to the bathroom, don't have much uh, urine in the bladder, or women who get a strong, quick urge to go to the bathroom, especially frequently throughout the day. These women who come in usually with the complaints of leaking urine, their lifestyle are, uh, lifestyle is uh, significantly inhibited. They have to um, make um, uh, pl certain plans when they go out and change their lifestyle because of the leaking of urine. This procedure is effective in 85 to 90 percent of women and so these women usually have a significant improvement in their lifestyle, are able to do the things that they weren't able to do before and not have to worry about leaking urine, uh, the embarrassing nature of that, having to take a change of clothes and so on. First of all, we ask the patient about her history, uh, when the disease has started, and um, we, uh, we ask them to fill a diary, sometimes for 24 hours, to give us an idea uh, how many times they use the bathroom and how many times they leak during the day and how, how much they drink and how many times they drink during the day. That's the first step. So we have a nice history and we have the di a 24-hour diary, at least a 24-hour diary. After that, we do a physical exam, and that's very important, and that's a bad exam that we do it here in the office. And if we need to do a procedure to evaluate more and more the risk, uh, to evaluate more and more the urinary incontinence, sometimes we ask for a test, and this test is the urodynamic test. For women, there are basically two types, two major types of leaking of urine. One comes from a weakness in or around the bladder neck. Uh, either the bladder drops or the sphincter muscle, which kind of closes the, uh, the, the urethra, which is the tube that carries urine to the outside world, is weak. Uh, the other type is um, something called detrusor irritability or instability, which is really a, almost like a spastic bladder. And that usually is, uh, can be corrected with medication or some, some implants now are, are being used for these women who have really a, a hyper irritable bladder. Because since I've had this done, I can enjoy running around in the front yard with my son, playing some baseball, football, soccer, uh, running around with the dog, I can jump, it, I can play volleyball, it's just I've gotten my life back. The urodynamic is an easy test, fast, uh, the patient are comfortable during the test, and uh, we can do it in the office without any problem. I had the procedure done late in the week on a Thursday, and I, I missed work Thursday and Friday, and of course had the weekend, but I was back to work on Monday. There is no age limit for urinary incontinence. You can have very young people who are complaining about urinary incontinence, and these patients have to be treated, uh, because if you don't treat them, they are limiting their activity, and this is a huge social impact. And uh, that I would say from 16 to 98, we need to see the impact of the incontinence on her daily life. That's why we give them a five or six uh, questions targeting this impact. We ask them about the, their daily activity. And if the patient has a, no impact on her daily life, most of the time we tell them you don't have to be treated. But most of the time when the patient comes to our office, it means they have an impact on their daily life and that's when we have to treat them. The doctor that I had at Virginia Physicians for Women did have a lot of experience with this. I, I spoke to him and um, that made me feel much more confident about having it done and I am very glad that I did have it done when I did and wish that I'd had it done sooner. You don't have to compromise on life. There is a solution. Call VPFW today.